Hey guys, this is a setup video for all your Apple Watches. It doesn't matter which series you got, it's gonna be the exact same instructions for all of them. It also doesn't matter which color you got. Again, the system itself is gonna be the same thing, the software. Now yes, with a Series 3 and a Series 7, a Series 7 would have a few more things in its software, but other than that, the startup and everything, the setup would be the exact same thing. So let's just get started. Now let's start off with the basics, your bands, how to place them. Well, you do have two choices and you can use whichever makes sense to you. So whatever is more comfortable. In this case, we're gonna use this one. And of course we have to use this piece here. So this be top, bottom, we're gonna place our Apple Watch right there. I'm gonna show you how to place these. So it's actually extremely easy to snap these in. So you'll notice this metal right here, it's in the middle. And that's going to lock in with this right here. You can kind of see it, but that's going to snap into there. So slightly bend it. And then from your left to your right, you're going to just go ahead and slide this in. So you just bend that. And here we go. That way it just locked in. So you're not supposed to be able to take it out. To take out, you have to press this button on the back. But for now, we're just going to place the other one on the top. So again, we're just gonna slide it in there. Make sure it's nice and tight. There we go, it's locked. I can't move it from there. So that's how you can place the bands right here. Now before we keep going, I do wanna show you how to take them off just in case you wanna change them. On the back, you're gonna see a button. Let me just see how much I can zoom in. See that button and see this button? Just press them with your nail and then you can slide it out. And that's the only way that you can slide it out. I'm just gonna put it back in and that's it. But that's how you guys can take out the top one or the bottom one. It's gonna be the exact same thing. There are two buttons. And remember that goes with any Apple Watch. To power on your Apple Watch for the first time and get started with the setup, this is your power button. So just hold on to it. And you're gonna hold on to it until we see an Apple logo. So here's my Apple logo and it's just starting for the first time. Now, at this point in time, Go grab your iPhone, whichever it is, and bring it up. Make sure your Bluetooth is turned on, and then we're just gonna go on with the setup. So as mentioned from before, it doesn't matter which iPhone you've got. I'm just gonna swipe up, put in my passcode, and right away I should see this. It should tell me that I can pair my Apple Watch, so it should detect it as long as I have my Bluetooth turned on as well. If you don't see this, just turn off your screen and turn it on back on, and you might see this because it's gonna refresh. So right now we're just gonna continue on. And right now what it's doing, it's just pairing both of them. At this point, we can take care of everything within our phone and you should be able to see this screen. So on this screen, just go ahead and set up yourself because you don't need to set up for a family member unless you're doing it for a family member. So right now what we have to do is just place our phone on top of our Apple Watch. So on Apple Watch, you're gonna see this code coming on which looks like lights and we're just going to place it on top. It's going to scan that code with our phone. And once it does that, it's going to say your Apple watch is paired. So that's how you compare your Apple watch with your phone. It's actually extremely easy as you guys could see. So right now we can just go on into set up Apple watch. And right here, it's going to ask us, do we want our Apple Watch to be on our left or right? We're just going to choose right. Go and continue. Obviously, make sure you're setting this up according to what you like. It could be your left. So right here, what it's asking us is what's the top side. So on the top, here it is. So I'm going to choose this is my top. It's not on the bottom. So on the bottom would be like this, kind of like upside down. But in my case, it's gonna be like this. And for most of you, it's gonna be the same thing. So I'm just gonna choose top, continue on. You do have to agree. And right now it's gonna sign into our account. So at this point, I do wanna mention that there's two types of watches. One, it's a GPS and just the GPS, which is this one here. And the other one has an eSIM. So that one works a little bit different because you can make calls and send text messages without having your phone nearby. However, GPS, you do need your phone nearby in order to do those tasks. Now, in order for your watch to work as a normal watch or for a bunch of apps, you do not need your phone even near you. Now, this is up to you. 
if you would like this to track or not track. In my case, well, we bought the Apple Watch, so for sure we want it to track, so we're gonna enable that, click on OK. And this part's really important, because this text, you have to make it so you can actually read it yourself. So you can make it as big as you like, so it can be huge, it can be small, or really small. So again, it is really your preference. In this case, I'm gonna make it just around there. Not too small, but not too big. You can also choose to bold the text. So if you press there, it's gonna bold it. So I can actually see it a little bit better. But again, that's really your preference. In this case, again, I'm just gonna leave it as is and continue on. All right, and this is just for security reasons. You could just not add a passcode, but I recommend locking it up whenever you take it off. So we are gonna create a passcode and we just have to type that in in our Apple Watch. All right, so at this point, we can set this up, our activity. So again, almost everything that we do in our setup, we can set up later as well if we change our minds. In this case, I don't actually want to set this up, and that's because for my use, I don't want to get notifications that I have to get up or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go on to skip this step for now. Blood oxygen. Now this, I suggest going on to enable for sure. And this right here, it's up to you whether you would like this to update by itself, most of you will like that, others will like to install the updates manually. What I usually suggest for all Apple products is to install them manually, and that's just in case something happens. Especially with iPhones, when they update by themselves, sometimes you might not even know an update happened. And the next day when you want to use it, maybe something stopped working because not all updates are 100%. So I'm gonna choose update manually. And here we go. This is a pretty good feature that we can pay using our Apple Watch, which is pretty cool. But if you don't have that set up already with your phone, most likely you're not going to set it up with your watch either. So again, this is up to you. You can always set that up later in settings as well. Now that we we'll pass that part, we can go on to continue in hard rate. Same deal with this, just continue on, continue on, and we can go on to install some apps. So install all, there's a few ways to view this. You can view them that way, or you can do a list view. I think the list view is a little bit more organized. The other way, it's a little bit more fun, but I'm just gonna keep it as list view for now. Right now, our Apple Watch is syncing. Now, while your Apple Watch is syncing for the very first time, you can get to know your watch. So we can tap right there. And here, it's gonna let you know just a little bit about your Apple Watch. We can scroll down and we can see customize your watch. You can see down here, we can explore watch apps as well. There's actually a whole library that's just for Apple Watch apps. That's really neat. So let me just show you that for now. And here's some just to get you started. Those are usually the ones that you want to look at. Meanwhile, you will get this. So just tap on OK. And let's just go back into our watch. We're going to click on Done. And at this point in time, we can keep exploring our options or you can just let it be and come back once this is done because it's going to alert you once the syncing is all done. So right now it's downloading all the apps that you want. But again, if you're really new to this, I do have a manual that shows you how to do everything and get the most out of your Apple Watch. So make sure to watch that manual. Right now this is a setup video that shows you exactly that, how to set it up, how to get started with it. But the manual shows you just a little bit more. But hey, if you don't wanna wait around, you can always go to get to know your watch and then just explore more stuff right here about getting started and everything about your Apple Watch. So just keep in mind that this could take a while. Anyways, we're just gonna turn on our phone to see what happened. We'll unlock it. And once you unlock it, it should tell you this. You should have got a notification. Plus, as long as you see this screen, you're good to go. So right now on this screen, it tells me that we're all done. We can click on okay. And right now on our iPhone, we can see that everything's done. We can do a lot of stuff from our iPhone itself, such as app view, dock, everything, brightness. We can do anything from our iPhone. However, from our Apple Watch, we can do stuff as well. But at this point in time, we are all done. If you go to your Apple Watch, just press the power. You're gonna see that everything's set up. At this point in time, it's only asking me to enter a passcode because I was not wearing it. As soon as you wear it, you don't have to put a passcode every time you wanna look at the screen. But anyways, this is it. This is the Apple Watch all set up for us. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.